Hi, welcome to GC Motors. Uh, this is just arrived in today. It's going up on the website later today. It's the 2018 Alfa Giulia Veloce. Um, so when these came out in 2017, it was three spec levels. This was, well, there's four spec levels if you include the kind of M3 rival, the Quadrifoglio. Uh, this was the uh, the top one before you get to the uh, to the Quadrifoglio. Um, so we'll just we'll have a look down in front of the car, uh, first and foremost. Just have a, look, a bit of a look at the condition. As you can see, the paint is in really good nick. This is actually finishing Vesuvio grey, this car, which is a nice kind of dark grey. Uh, obviously, it's a four-year-old car now, so you expect to see a few uh, a few little paint chips and stuff. Honestly, looking at the front of this, I, I can't even see any. Uh, there may be a few little marks and stuff underneath, but if you have a really hard look, but uh, no, this is in this is in really good condition. Clearly been well looked after, well cared for. Um, so yeah, just while we're down here, you can see the um, the front parking sensors down there, and they've got them round the back as well, so make it nice and easy getting in and out of uh, in and out of parking spaces. Uh, round the side, then one of the uh, the main selling features of this car is these lovely 19 inch wheels so these aren't the standard veloce wheels these are actually uh quadrifoglio style alloys with the kind of five spokes with the holes in these look mega i think they look really good on this car they kind of trans help to transform the look uh behind them again you've got the uh the yellow brake calipers that just help give it that sporty look up above quadrifoglio badging again to kind of tie into that theme um so yeah We'll just have, again, we'll have a quick look down the side of the car just so you can see the condition, see that it's all in really good nick down the side here. And again, those 19 inch quadrifolio style alloys. Let's just look around the rear then as well. So first thing that you kind of spot looking at this car is that rear wing. So again, that's quadrifolio style that's been fitted and it's got the uh, it's, it's your carbon fiber. You see that with the lovely gloss finish. That's in great nick, it's been really, really well applied on there uh, again the paint down here great no marks no scratches really smart and that's something that we guarantee here at GC Motors as part of the prep process so um, and there won't be any dents there won't be any scratches that go through the paintwork um, we make sure that with every car and uh, any any marks to the wheels curbing stuff like that we sort it out we do it all in house we've got full body shop service center so we make sure that all the cars are in uh, great condition before we hand them over to you uh, while well, we're around the back just a quick look in the boot so you'll see nice and clean uh, it's quite a big boot here um, it's kind of executive saloon so plenty of space as you can see it's great no marks in the boot entry here either so that's in that's in good nick i'll just pop that closed We'll have a quick look around the side here. So it's the, uh, the four door, this, all the uh, Julia's are saloons. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look in the back. We've got uh, five seats, so we'll put it on wide angle so you can get a good look. So yeah, you've got your five seats back here. Uh, rear Isofix on the seats as well. If you've, um, if you've got kids seats in the back and also you can see down here, you've got the rubber floor mat, so perfect for, if you've got kids in the back and it just makes things nice and hard wearing and robust. Uh, speaking of wearing though, the weather, the, the, the weather, the leather actually is in great condition uh, back here. I don't think these seats have been sat in an awful lot, which is uh, which is good to know. And yeah, you can see the black leathers still looking nice and smooth, really smart back here. So we'll uh, we'll pop round now to the uh, to the driver's seat. I'll jump in there and kind of talk you round what's in the front. Here we go, so we'll jump in with the lovely uh, black leather interior here now. There we go, it's just beeping at me because I've had the key out of the car and I've got the door open. There we go, it's calmed down a bit now. Perfect. So yeah, here we are in the driver's seat. Uh, first thing is the, the steering wheel, it's in great nick, it's really... Uh, not got much wear the wet the well much wear it's not got anywhere at all really the uh the leather is really still nice and smooth i'll just zoom in on it there really nice finish to it boss looks great uh we'll look across to the passenger seat as well we'll just look at this just so you can see the see how the leather is on that up top the embossed headrest there really nice little little feature with the uh with the alfa romeo logo there we go and looking down again we we'll just zoom in on that really smart it's in great nick again for a four-year-old car 
there's there's not really many many marks to it at all. Um, so the driver's seat has got a it's got a few little shiny kind of bits on the bolster and the bottom, which I'll just show you when I hop out as well, so you can get a good look of that and give you a, a full picture of the car. But again, nothing that you wouldn't expect for a, for a car of this age and this mileage. So yeah, I'll just have it, let you have a, a quick look around the interior. Again, we've got those floor mats down there, the same as in the rear. Um, you've got your you've got your infotainment screen here that's operated by this uh, this little toggle down here. We've satellite navigation on there your uh, tire tire pressure monitoring system as well and if you uh if you pop the car into reverse you'll see that this comes up this is just a little display that kind of has the um has the front and rear parking sensors on there that will show you how how close or near you are when you're getting into those spaces uh yeah a few little little features you've got the paddle shift again these are these are fixed uh, when you're turning so that's nice if you want to have a bit more uh, engaging driving experience you've got them there for you uh, keyless start which is always a nice little touch it looks quite good here in the on the steering wheel a bit of that uh, ferrari style that's uh, that's passed down so yeah uh, just shy of 14,000 we've got 3,000 uh, 13,746 miles on the clock here which is below average for a car of this age which is really good um yeah last little bits um you've got your dual zone climate control um just a bit of options there for you and your passenger heated seats as well which i do have on because it's uh, as you can see eight degrees on there bit of a chilly chilly afternoon here in harrogate so yeah i'll just uh, i'll jump out of the driver's seat now so you can just see the the condition of the seat as well and then i'll, I'll wrap this up there we go so if i just turn around as you can see we'll start at the top We've got the headrest again and then just looking down you can see this the back of the seat again looks looks really smart there's no marking in the leather just over there there's a little bit of shine and it's the, the same on the bottom again like i say it's as you'd expect it's a, it's a few years old as this car but for what it is it is in lovely condition so we'll just pop around the front now we'll get one last look at the outside of the car we'll wrap this one up and have a look at these uh, nice LED strips and the headlights give the front of this car a really distinct look because you can see it's just starting to rain a little bit now so I'll wrap this up so yeah that's been the uh, that's been the Alfa Romeo Giulia Veloce with the Quadrifoglio exterior parts um, yeah hope this video has been helpful to you and has told you a little bit about it and uh, yeah it'll be on our website soon so don't hesitate to have a, have a deeper look at the spec and uh, get in touch with us soon cheers bye